Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we've got another holiday buyer's guide for you. Welcome to Cyber Monday. To wrap the sale up, we wanted to focus in on winter. We wanted to focus on right now. Slow moving baits, reaction baits, things that you can do to catch winter bass today. The holiday buyer's guide is for the holidays, but it's also for the guys that just want to get out there and fish and know what they need. Let's jump into it. You want me to kick it off? That was an intro. All right. That was the intro. So like Matt said, these are baits that you can take out to the lake right now and catch fish. You know, we all know that you can slow down the winter time as the water gets colder, the fish gets, you know, lethargic and you can finesse fish, but you can also reaction fish. Hopefully you guys got a chance to check out some of our, our crankbait videos we've shown lately, where we showed some of the crankbaits that we've helped design. Um, and the giant fish that eat and, them. And the giant fish that eat them. So we're gonna wrap all this, all this up into one video for you so you guys can make it easy, share this video with your loved ones, and get the baits that you want this holiday season so you can go out to the lake and catch fish. Starting off, I'm gonna go with the A-Rig. You know, I love reaction fishing. I know I kind of get labeled as the finesse guy, but I love throwing reaction baits. And an A-Rig this time of the year, in fact, all year, is a phenomenal bait. This is actually the G-Funk A-Rig. Uh, they got a bunch of different A-Rigs. Uh, depending on the state that you live in, you gotta look at your regulations, but they make an A-Rig just for just about every state out there. You know, I know Arizona has two hook rule. We have a three hook law. So look at your regulations, but they make a rigs for you. They come with higher stuff components. on them. Components. <laughs> that is why I'm recommending it. They come with all, so when you buy an a rig, you usually take everything off, put your owner, you know, centering pins on, your blades, your, your, your power swivel. They come with all of that already done. So all you have to do is put your baits on. That is a great a rig right there. Pair that up with uh, Matt Allen head, swim bait head, and uh, your favorite swim bait. Those are the Kitek 3.8s with some Rage Swimmers up here as the teaser baits. But an A-Rig right now, go out, slow roll it, give it a couple rod twitches, and hang on. That A-Rig, we talked about when we did our crankbait video last week, the power of an A-Rig. It is the other bait that can draw a giant reaction bites regardless of water temperature. So the A-Rig, and the crankbait are the two baits that can do that. This is our crankbait. We, we announced it about a week ago. It is a cold water bait. That's what we designed it for. We designed it for fishing right now. The feedback that has been coming in this week from guys out there already smashing fish is awesome. awesome. They are highly backordered. We're sorry about that, but it will change quickly. Feel free to continue ordering them while backordered because they ship in order so you will still get them sooner if you order them right away but these baits were designed for cold water from now until the pre-spawn into the pre-spawn that bait will shine you can smash fish and big fish all winter long and you're not out there throwing that drop shot ultra slow fishing yeah, it's, it's been awesome to see the pictures, the comments, the videos. Videos. And just the last week, the people that got lucky enough to get those baits when they came out, the stories of their buddies having them and them not and getting stomped. And it's just really cool. And we're excited to share that with you guys. I'm going to talk about the last reaction bait I'm going to talk about is a swim bait. But I want to talk about this guy right here. This is actually the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. And I was a sleeper on it until about a year ago. <laughs> Um, it is a phenomenal swim bait. No matter if it's out here on Clear Lake or in the Midwest in 30 foot biz, clear water chasing smallmouth, they just eat it. They make them in several different sizes. So you can fish on a bait caster if you want, or you can throw it on a little spinning rod, but the fish eat it. It's just a do nothing bait that hunts on the bottom. It deflects very well. It's got a real stout hook on it and they just eat it. Man, I don't really have it. much more to say about it than to get some because don't be a sleeper on the dark sleeper like I was. <laughs> you know, that thing was on the best sellers list and we could never figure like, out why. why? Yeah. And then all of a sudden the light bulb went Dope. off. Dope, yeah. All right, the next one I'm going to talk about for that wintertime fishing is that little tiny, the eighth ounce or the 3 16 cool baits underspin with a 2.8 Kitek. That little tiny guy 
can be fished at any speed. You can fish it mid column on those warm winter days as the fish are coming up to warm up. But when they're down on the bottom, it's nasty weather outside. You've got wind, it's cold. You just creep that thing right on the bottom. You can go so slow that the blade stops even working. It just drags on the bottom underneath that bait, but the sound it's making contacting the rocks pulls those fish in and that thing will continue to work the entire winter. And it just consistently puts fish in the boat for us. It's a great option. All right, next bait I'm gonna talk about is a tube. So I have two baits for you, depending on the technique. If you are a finesse fisherman and you're throwing it on a spinning rod, go with the Dry Creek. This is their tournament tube. Mm -hmm. We've done in-depth videos on pretty much all these techniques. Right. We'll link those down below, but uh, tournament tube, that is a phenomenal spinning rod tube. And if you're gonna throw a bait caster with the bigger bulbous head on it, mm -hmm. go with the big bite tube. Uh, very soft, lots of salt, lots of tentacle action. They're just so, so soft. I've been blown away with how, um, you know, we, for years we got custom poured stuff. For and years. We finally found a tube that uh, is better than that. So, and now they're readily available. But uh, the Big Bite Baits tube, that is a really good tube. This time of the, this time of year, kind of slower fished it, kind of hop it a little bit, drag and bottom, fish it on humps, rock piles, ledges, where those fish are, are hanging out in that deeper water uh, for the wintertime. Now, I'm, we're gonna link it all down in the video description like every other video, so I'm gonna link the head, but am I correct in assuming bite me. that you're, okay, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. gonna throw it on the bite me head. It's just a very consistent head. It's a, it's a small profile hook, but it's a stout hook. You can stick them, and if you get a big one, you will get them. Um, can I, I assume that's where you were going, but I wasn't yeah. positive. I'm gonna finish up real quick with finesse, because yeah. you got two more baits that I know are gonna, the last bait I wanna talk about is gonna be a Nico rig. It's a, a Nico rig, we've done in-depth videos on them in the past, but it's a wacky rigged uh, stick bait or some kind of uh, your favorite worm, plastic worm, but it has a weight in the head. It's a bigger profile. It's easier to have bottom contact. You can move it very slow in the wintertime, the cold weather months, drag it on the bottom, just light shaking, get that tail up there dancing. It's down there with the weighted head on the bottom, the tail's dancing, and it produces big bites. Uh, this is actually... This is the Nico Fat, yep, the Nico Fat by Daiwa and Yamamoto. They kind of came together and collaborated and came out with this guy right here. Got the little fatter tail for a little tantalizing action, but this and a Senko are probably my two favorite Nico rig baits. Sorry, I didn't want to cut you off, but I know you got some special ones coming up. <laughs> it's all good. Next up is going to be the jig. We actually have an entire buyer's guide for jig fishing coming before Christmas. It's still a little ways out, we couldn't get them all in before Black Friday. We tried to prioritize them for you. Uh, but if you were only going to have one jig to get you through winter, it's a finesse football. Specifically, I'd go with a half ounce finesse football if I could only have one. Because you can fish that shallow, you can fish it deep, pair it up with a five inch double tail grub. No matter your water temperature, that grub will still move on the bottom. Cold water, warm water, it always moves. That little guy right there catches big ones all winter. Don't get caught up with overworking it. When you watch us fish jigs, we hop them a lot. We don't do that in the winter. Best case scenario, we're just, we're just dragging it, just pulling it, bumping it through cover. But most of the time, it's just a slow, like parallel to the water, just a slow drag. That thing is just going to be creeping across the bottom. Those tails will just be climbing over everything that they come in contact with. The fish come in and they study it and they decide, yep, that's good enough for me. And they vacuum it up. It can be a really subtle, really soft bite where they just show up on it. But the jig, the reason for a jig is that you can get a lot of bites, but you can also get that giant bite. It's a bait that just has a great profile. And when there are monster bass present, they are more likely to eat that profile over some of the smaller profiles. It's a really good option. Last but not least is the big swim bait. This is a Huddleston 8 inch. Why are we talking about this? Because in winter, now over the last couple of months, we've been showing some really fun ways to catch them. 
But as a general rule, winter is that like lethargic, slow period. Guys around the country are just struggling to get a bite. You know, if you're going out there and you're worming all day and you're getting two or three bites, why not go throw a giant bait? I mean, what are you risking? Two or three bites. Go out there, commit to a giant bait, throw that thing and just crawl. I mean, ultra slow. You cannot go too slow. That's why we got so excited about the crankbait because it doesn't sound fun, does it? Just slower than slow. But when you get bit, they're monster bites. When you feel that thunk, stick them. Don't wait for this like life-changing freight train bite. In the cold winter period, that's typically not what's coming. What'll happen is that thing's just creeping, that bass will study it, and when they're ready, they suck the entire bait in, and all you feel is the lips pinch the line. Feels just like a jig bite. Don't. And when that happens, smash them, grind them to the boat. This is one of the best ways to catch a fish of a lifetime. Now, you can get them on an A-Rig, you can get them on our crank. That's why we developed that thing. That's why we started teaching these techniques so that you have different options. But when that water's frigid, getting down there and creeping is just a consistent way to get those bites. Hopefully this video helps you guys. You know, the whole purpose of these buyer's guides is to make sure you get what you want for Christmas. Uh, fishermen are very hard to shop for. We try and make it easy for your loved ones. So yeah. share this video with them. There's gonna be links down below in the video description to all of this stuff to make it easy for them. But we figured we'd do a winter fishing video, buyer's guide for you, for baits that can go out and catch fish right, right now. now. So if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments section. We will try to get to all those. It is just a crazy time of the year with the holidays for us, with our families, for you guys. So. Uh, we'll do our best to get to those. Uh, if you guys learned something or you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to our channel. We do three videos a week, unless it's buyer's guide season. That seems like it's every six day. Or seven. Yeah. But uh, as always, guys, we appreciate you. Happy holidays. We'll talk to you soon.